Let's take a look at why a device may connect to a fiber connection, get a link, but not be able to get an IP address or send and receive any data. So in this case, I've got my Link Runner 10G connected to a one gig switch through a couple hundred meters of fiber. And I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna hit start and I'm gonna start my test. Now, if I come in and click on that, I see that I've established a connection at one gig. It tells me I'm using my SFP and I'm connected at full duplex. If I click on that, I can see I'm connected. But if I come back, I'm not able to get an IP address. I can't communicate with the nearest switch. Something is wrong. So in this case, if we go back to our one gig connection and we come down here and we look at the details about the connection that the SFP is providing. What we find is that our receive power is at negative 21.37 decibel milliwatts. Now, every SFP has a receive sensitivity value, and this is the minimum signal strength that we need to be able to establish a connection. For a one gig SFP, this is typically negative 18 decibel milliwatts. Negative 21, is less than negative 18. So the fact that we don't have enough of a signal to reliably pull that data out is a big problem. And that's why we're not able to establish a connection. So we are seeing too much loss on this connection. So it's enough to connect, but it's not enough to receive the data. So let's go see if we can fix this connection and get it to work properly. It turns out that one of the LC connections was loose. So I went in, plugged it in, made sure it was connected all the way. And now I'm gonna come in here and hit start and let's see if we can get a good connection. All right, so we got our one gig connection. We can see that we're connected to our micro tick switch. We got a DHCP address. We're gonna go out, we're gonna get our DNS. We're gonna check our uh, default router. Things are looking really good. We were able to establish a connection. Now, I'm gonna go in and tap on that connection. What we see is our receive power is now negative 5.78. That's a lot more than negative 21. So if you're having trouble establishing a connection on a one gig, 10 gig link, go in and take a look at your receive power. Now it's important that you know what the receive sensitivity is of the SFP, and you can find that by looking at the data sheet. So I hope this helps you troubleshoot fiber optic connections.